Hey guys, welcome back to the Inglot Australia YouTube channel. My name's Claire and in today's video I'll be showing you how I created this reindeer makeup look for Christmas. So to begin with I started with the brows and I used 19 brow gel here with the 17 TL angle brush. Um, this is a great product, it's also waterproof so really great for long wearing. Um, after that I started with the eyes, so I always do eyes before base in case I need to clean up. So first I'm going to put on some eyeshadow base, um, I'm going to conceal the eyelids here with the 24 concealer mixed with a little bit of the 96 under eye um, concealer to thin it out a bit and I'm going to carve out the brows here to make them really nice and strong. And I use the 41TG um, dual fibre brush for this. Next I'm going to lightly apply some eyeshadow keeper which is going to give the eyeshadow a really nice waterproof base um, and I'm going to set this with the 405 HD powder. So for this reindeer look I'm going to go with the cut crease. Um, so to start off I'm going to create that crease with uh, the 609 eyeshadow blending through and I'm going to soften the edges of this with the 285 eyeshadow as a nice transition colour. For both of these I've used the 6S brush which is one of my all time faves and a definite must have in your makeup brush collection. So after this I'm going to deepen the crease with the 299 and the 304 matte eyeshadow. Now I'm going to cut the crease with the Aqua Stick in the number 13 using a synthetic concealer brush. This is a gorgeous peachy bronze tone, it's going to look great for our finished reindeer look. So over the top of the Aqua Stick, I'm going to apply the 119 Star Pigment, which is a really nice bronzy rose gold. It's got a great shimmer to it. Next, I'm going to put a little bit more of the Eyeshadow Keeper just on the inner corner of the eye, and I'm going to apply 45 Glitter for that real nice pop of shimmer. Now I'm going to go in with some winged eyeliner. I'm using the 77 gel eyeliner, which is a cult classic from Inglot, with the 31T synthetic angle brush. I'm just going to sharpen that crease um, with that really dark warm brown eyeshadow 299 with my angle brush. Now for that real doe-eyed reindeer look, I'm going to use the lashes in 65S. So I'm going to start with some under makeup base using the flat foundation brush 21T. And next I'm going to go in with our HG foundation in shades 75 and 76. And I'm going to use the 35S brush here, which is really going to buff the foundation into the skin. So we're going to get that flawless finish, but it's not going to look too heavy. Next I'm going to apply the 96 under eye concealer generously under the eye and I'm going to blend it out with a 40TG brush. And this is really going to emphasize the highlighted areas on top of the cheekbones as well. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now going to set the whole face with the HD 405 powder and the 403, that lighter colour under the eye area. So we really want a bronzed finished look here. So I'm going to go in with a bronzing powder in number 74. She's got a really nice golden tone to it with a 36 BGF brush. It's really soft and fluffy, but it tapers in at the end. So it's great for cheekbone work. Next, I'm going to sharpen up those cheekbones with the 509 Contour Powder, which is, again, a really nice warm, dark colour. For this, I'm using 38SS brush, so it's a bit more direct and it's right under the cheekbone. Now I'm going to start with the nose contour to give it that cute little reindeer snout. Again, I'm using like the warmer tones that I've used on the eyes. So starting with the eyeshadow 609, blending down the bridge of the nose and using a smaller brush. And then I'm going to add those darker shades 299 closer to the bridge to create real dimension. Highlighting now the bridge of the nose with the white highlighting powder number 59 for real contrast. So when you do the nose contour, you really have to make sure you do bring it um, into the inner eye socket and it's going to create more depth and it's really going to open the eye up as well. Now for the little reindeer nose, we're going to be using firstly the black eyeshadow just to map out where we want the nose to go in case we make any mistakes. Um, we want to create almost a love heart shape right on the tip of the nose. And once I'm happy with the shape that I've created, I'm going to darken that up with black gel liner. So now I'm going to go back into the eyes. I'm going to finish the underneath. Again, creating that real doe-eyed look. We want to give the illusion of a bigger eye. And to do this, we're going to apply the white gel liner onto the waterline and then also under the lash line and into the inner corner using a small brush. Um, now I'm going to recreate the lower lash line under the white gel with eyeshadows 609 and 299. And I'm going to finish it off with the black eyeshadow number 63 to create a uh, bottom eyeliner effect. Again, to really emphasize that bigger doe-eyed look, I'm going to apply individual lashes on our newly created lower lash line and to do this I'm going to turn the lashes upside down so they're curving outwards rather than in. So now for lips, again, we're mimicking that reindeer mouth, um, which is really an extension of the snout. So firstly, I'm going to be using the new Italian Kiss Liquid Lipstick 38 on the top lip only. And then I'm going to outline this with the black gel liner and draw a black line connecting the reindeer nose to the top of the mouth. So we're almost finished now, just need to add the highlight. So we're going to be using the new limited edition glow out range highlight in number 51 on the higher points of the cheekbones and again really buffing into the skin. I'm going to be using the brush 4S which is absolutely the best highlighter brush. And for that 
final reindeer touch, we're going to be adding those white fur-like spots, mainly around the edges of the face to really shape the face. So I chose to use a matte eyeshadow 373 and I'm applying it with the brush 9S as the softness of the matte eyeshadows really lends itself to more of a fur-like finish. On the bottom lip, as you know, we don't really need that bottom lip to be obvious, I'm going to be using a nude HD lip tint in the number 47, because we always want to hide that bottom lip. So here you go guys, that's the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this Christmassy reindeer tutorial. If you did love it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Ingle Australia YouTube channel.